What you do, drop it in the water. Is it waterproof? No. Oh. Alrighty folks, we're at the Lust Creek Wilderness area from Frank's Track. <clears throat> Old farming settlement. Few people parked here. We're gonna hike in. It's a little ways. But this is really kind of our only option. Right here. So natural bridge, saltpeter cave, all that. Alrighty folks, if you remember from my last video where I came through uh, Lust Creek and did the six mile hike and when it was really hot, I uh, noticed that the Lust Creek Wilderness sign was damaged in the middle and there were some planks on the ground. And I said if I had nails and a hammer, I would uh, fix it myself. Well, a trail intern saw the video and commented on my uh, video telling me they're gonna go replace it. And looky here, we got a brand new sign. So that's really cool to see that. So thank you Forestry and you're welcome for me telling you about it. <laughs> got a little bit of bluffage going on here on the trail. Take a little rest stop. I there's water coming down last place I was thinking about. <clears throat> Yeah, beautiful nonetheless. This is what the Shawnee's known for. Bluffage. Bluffage. Look at that tree. Where the roots oh, yeah. are and everything. Yeah. Just neat. It's an old poplar. Let's get into this. Look at the butterflies. They are everywhere. I just walked into a herd of butterflies. What you do, drop it in the water. Is it waterproof? No. Nope. Oh. <clears throat> Alrighty, folks. I'm hiking down a trail a little ways. Just checking it out. Salt Peter Cave Creek Crossing. This look cool. Bluffage. Good old bluffage. Can't go wrong with some good old bluffage. Sweet. 